I hope all of you are doing well today. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. This right here is a template for the integrating by parts technique. You know this integral u dv equals uv minus integral v du. I had an inquiry from a particular viewer. They understand how this template is derived. What they wanted to know is how is it that you can verify or prove that this integrating by parts technique works. If you have a particular integral and you are going to integrate it and you get your expected or anticipated outcome, then you know whatever technique it is that you use, it works because you're getting your anticipated result. If you were to take this function and run it through the integrating by parts technique, you should get your anticipated outcome. What is the anticipated or expected outcome from this? It's going to be this, your antiderivative plus C. This lowercase, uppercase, you know this is a symbol here or terminology used to represent the antiderivative of your function, which here is your integrand. Now run this integral through your integrating by parts technique. u is equal to your function. Then du is equal to the derivative of this function, dx. Notice how we're bringing in the terminology. v here is going to be integral of what remains, which will be integral dx, which is x. Now you run this through this uv minus integral v du. What is it that you get? u and v. I have an x f of x minus integral v du x and du is right here. Derivative of your function and dx. You know you can't stop right here. You have to run this through another round of integrating by parts and you can. Here's your u, here's going to be your v. u is equal to x, du is equal to derivative of that which is just dx. v is equal to the integral of what remains which is the derivative coming from your previous step, dx. What's the antiderivative of a derivative? It's the original function and why is that? Because the derivative and the integral are inverse processes. Each undoes the effect of the other. Now run these through your next round of uv minus integral v du, keeping in mind that you still have this and the minus before all of that. x, f of x, minus, and now we'll bring this by means of the new round of substitutions. uv, x, f of x, see, u and v, minus integral v, which is f of x, du, which is right here, dx. And what are you going to get when you open this up? x f of x minus f of x will cancel out the minus minus will become a positive you'll have an integral f of x dx you are ending up exactly where you started when you run this through you know you're getting here this your antiderivative plus c the anticipated and the expected outcome that you wanted all along so we know the integrating by parts technique works and it's a right technique because you're anticipated or your expected outcome for whatever integral that you would utilize it for it would work. So that right there is the substance of this video. Have a good day. Bye.